What's up everybody, and today I'm going to be doing a video on a mod, um, this is a, ta um, a tutorial, um, I, th I, I am gonna, I'm just, you know what, I'm just gonna be, this is not gonna be a, t like, it is a tutorial, but, um, it, it, um, this might be like the last, but the only tutorials you're gonna see anymore on this channel is gonna be mods, so, um, yeah. So, the mods, some people have difficulties and that stuff, and sometimes they just want to make their own outfits. This guy uh, just released these really nice um, uh, characters, character models that you can customize. And at first, I was very confused on how to do it, but really, it's pretty simple. Um, everything's going to be in the link in the description of what you need to have for this um, to customize and use. So, um, yeah. Um, uh, the first thing you're gonna need is Photoshop, the second thing is OpenIV, the next thing is, um, a mod called EUP, which stands for Emergency Uniform Pack, it's, um, it, it just has custom, custom, like, skins and, like, custom uniforms and stuff, so that's pretty cool. Everything's pretty simple to download, I will be leaving a link in the description, on where to find all this stuff so you don't have to worry about it so let's get right into the video um, first thing you just want to start up uh, your photoshop if you guys have this uh, the photoshop that I'm talking about is photoshop cs6 it's not you don't need the fancy like four hundred dollar version this is a free photoshop cs6 which you can get anywhere um, you can just download it um, make sure it's just not like a place where you can get a virus from but I will be leaving a link on where to get it so you don't get like the viruses and stuff so um and that stuff so let's get right into this video this is gonna be pretty simple just follow along and yeah so the first thing you're gonna be wanting to do is going to file right here open um and then you go to this it has this thing it has the symbol of Photoshop if it has that symbol of Photoshop that means it's compatible compatible with the Photoshop here so we're gonna go with the the this one right here, the task div 004. Um, just press OK, open, and now you got this. Um, on the right side, uh, follow, if you follow my mouse here, on the right side, you have different layers, and you can see this eye, right? If you see this eye, layer three, and you look here, this will disappear. So this is disappearing. Uh, the background can disappear, but that's not what we're wanting to do. Um, so let's just put something simple. So you see Officer right here, or um, this. Uh, press Alt if you guys want to zoom in. If you, if I press this I on and off, it disappears. Like you see this thing in the back where Officer is, it disappears. So what I'm going to be doing, I am gonna, I am going to duplicate this layer bring it around here right here and then once I've done that I'm going to want to write text put whatever your name is I'm gonna put my name as uh, Eddie and obviously this is the wrong color so you're not gonna be wanting this kind of color um, I recommend changing both of these uh, the um, text sizes because it's just not off just keep it as the same thing but uh, yeah um, so this doesn't have the right color. If this does not have the right color, then it's pretty simple. Uh, follow my mouse on the left. It has this pigment thing where you take it, you just go in real quick right here, take this color, extract it. Why don't you just make sure once again? Once you're done with that, go back to the text and um, highlight your name. Go back here. If if it's on officer, it's not gonna like you can't click this. Well, you can, but it should automatically click it. Just click this. Make sure you don't click it anywhere else. Highlight it. Um, once you've done that, you see these two colors. The color that you just extracted from this, uh, press this. And then it shows up as this. Don't change it. Just press OK. And once you're done once you've done with that, um, I just just change the font size to I I put it I think I put it at what? I think eighteen that's I like it at 18 um, we're gonna put the this at 18 too it's at 15 so we're gonna change that to 18 once you've done that um, 
Hold on, let me. I'm gonna try and figure this out here. I know it's like different font. Like, okay, no, whoops, that's not what I want to do. We're just gonna keep it as that. It doesn't really matter. At least it looks kind of the same and that stuff. I'm not gonna go into detail because this would take forever. We're just doing simple stuff. Um, the badge I think is here. This just goes on and off. Uh, layer two is the police. You can do whatever you want with that. Uh, you can do this, that. It doesn't really matter. Else already, whatever. Layer three is that. Um, this I'm going to remove. I'm going to remove this right now. Um, I don't like it because if you look, you see the police, and if you load up the game, you can actually see the darker black uh, with that darker black, and it doesn't go. So I'm going to um, not delete it, but um, go here, go to wherever you have it as. I'm going to go to that layer and just uh, press the I and it'll go away and you won't show up in the game. So once you've done that, uh, put whatever text you want. You can leave it if you want to, but it would look nicer. So uh, I recommend putting in all caps. Again, fix the font to like 60. No, not 60. Like 72. That's good enough. I'm not going to go into major detail. Try and line it up as best as possible possible try and even it up um, it doesn't have to be great again just make sure just go back here press this kind of color press ok and you should be good um, actually we're gonna make this a little bit bigger to maybe let's see 75 yeah 75 looks a little bit better it's a little bit bigger um, now we're gonna just even it up a little bit cause you don't want have have one side on the other side okay so that looks a little bit more even. Um, again, you can put whatever kind of text or what kind, whatever kind of pictures you want. Uh, the pictures that I get from is Google Images. You know, just take Google Images, open this, and uh, that's that. Um, I'm going to add one more thing. It's going to be American Patch. So if you guys have um, uh, images from Google Images, obviously, uh, save it to somewhere like I highly recommend making like an LSPFR folder in one of your uh, things um, like go to your uh, PC put it in one of your dr drives or devices you may not have to you probably all have a local disk I have this um, custom made for all my games the uh, E drive so I'm gonna go into here and I usually I made a, I make a bunch of folders YouTube videos and all that stuff so I have everything stay uh, uh, put here for LSPDFR, so I'm gonna go in here, uh, save, re rename it because it'll just have a bunch of letters and numbers and that stuff. So I named it American Flag. Um, I like the American Flag patch. So if, uh, if you guys want to search up American Flag patch, because that would be awesome. Um, it looks a little bit better and more realistic. So just click this, um, open. And then once you've done that, you can, if you see here, like, don't keep it on text. Like, if you press it, it's going to have a text, and you don't want to do that. So go to this right here, if you see my mouse pointer. Press this, and if you see what happens here, it does not move. And now it says, cannot use the move tool because the layer is locked. So just press OK, and if you see right here, it says background, and it has a lock. That, it's locked. So double click that. Um just press OK don't name it after anything not unless you want to no just don't you don't have to change just leave it just press OK and now it's unlocked now what you can do here is press control T and uh, don't do it from here here or here here don't like just do this because it looks ugly so I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna apply so press control T um, hold the shift button and if you go in the corner it just makes it smaller so I don't need to make it small, smaller right now. <coughs> Sorry, I don't need to make it smaller. I'll make it smaller in here. So let me like go back here. Once you have what, what kind of flag you have or whatever you have as a picture, literally drag the photo and drag it to this box. Once you've done that, just let go, and it'll have it here. So you want to back up, uh, press Control T, resize it to uh, from the corners don't do it from the sides unless you want a different shape or whatever um, so once you've done that you just wanna 
do this. I'm not going to have it as perfect. 20 will be good, but uh, let's make it a little bit smaller. Um, let's put it like this. And, uh, yeah, alright, so. Uh, don't apply. Oh, man, what did I do there? Okay. Control T. What did I just do? Nope, nope, wrong thing. Control T. Okay, so you just want to go back. I messed that up. Whatever, it's a flag, doesn't matter. Because I have one. I literally made the same thing as this, and I just put it in the game, and I tested it, and it looks pretty nice. Um. Now this guy made a video on it, and uh, he he said you have to export it, but I guess he, he has like a different version than mine because I don't like it does have the export, but it's just not the same. Um, I save it, so it, whatever. This doesn't have to be perfect. It's not going to be perfect. I don't. I'm not going to take my time into this. It's a simple tutorial, but uh, yeah. Um, once you've done that, just apply. Um, just when you're done applying and fixing this shape, just go hit this and then it'll say apply. And once you've done that, you're good. So, whatever you want to do with this, you can customize as you want, as much as you want. But this is all I'm going to customize. It's just a little simple thing to do. Um, you can make, get pictures, take like, you can get different um, badges and just, hold on, let me find this. I think it's layer two. No, no. I gotta find this hold on. <laughs> okay, see, it's layer one. You can take this and put your image there, your badge, your whatever you want there. So, this is awesome. This is a very good um, uh, character uh, outfit. You can customize it to whatever you want because some you don't. You can't customize all of them. Sometimes you can. Again, you're going to have to, you can't use this without EUP. So, um, right now, we're just going to go to file once you're done you go to file save as then I would I'm just gonna put a just keep it on your desktop so it's there rename it to something to like Ella uh, skin done whatever it doesn't really matter uh, LS P L S P D F R and then don't save automatically you see this format right here it says Photoshop change it, it you're, it's not gonna be a picture you won't be able to see it uh, go right here you see PNG pick that now it's a PNG picture it's an actual picture now um then you wanna uh, press save and then just press OK don't change any of this just press OK and once that's done you uh, actually just just like not even like just not really like eggs I don't know okay so it has it loaded right here skin done LSPDFR as you can see so once you see that as done just exit out you don't have to save this because it's already saved but uh, so you got this here so now here comes the tricky part you're gonna have to go into open IV which I'm guessing you guys have if you're like if you guys are wanting to do this and if you're uh, like doing LSPDFR then hey this is you must have this because if you don't I guess you don't have your own cars and custom cars and stuff so once you've done this open it up uh, your open IV go to mods update time 64 DLC packs and then you got all this don't hit any of this on the top it should have EUP press this DLC R dot RPF time 64 I call it times I don't call it X uh, I just like it better Time 64 uh, models CD images and go to the first one right here don't go to the underscore P go to this one uh, just the first one on top and then you're gonna see a lot of these if um, if you guys um, know how to mod you don't really need to see this video but for people that just don't know like you just come into this like it's confusing there's a lot you don't want to go through the whole thing literally it's in this MP underscore M underscore free mode underscore zero one underscore mail underscore free mode dot uh, underscore MP LTS so just click this and make sure it's a male yeah, you can do female too it doesn't really matter and then you have these task 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 and make sure well you know right now make sure it's the one you want to replace you can replace any any one you want any which one you want 
Uh, it doesn't matter. You can even play Sheriff, but I highly recommend doing the one that comes with it, the Sheriff, and then you can customize it. This is just stay police. I, I already did this San Andreas stay police, but I might change that. Um, this is the one that I already put in. Um, I know this is the one I have. So once you have this, um, press edit mode. Press yes. Um, double uh, double click into this. Go here. You might be confused. Don't do any properties rename or delete. Don't definitely don't delete this. You don't want to do that. Um, uh, hit replace. Replace. You'll just do this, and it'll show up of what you want to replace it as. So we have we have it as what skin done LSPDFR. You just want to press open, and then that'll open, and it'll have your uh, thing that you customized. And oh, oh, I forgot to do something. You know what? If you have this thing, um, there should be like this. Well, I'm about to show you. That's that's the wrong thing. I'm about to show you. Now let me go right. Let me go in here real quick. Let me show you what you have to do. Uh, this right here, if you see this um, magnifier, press that and then right click, and then it says go to normal size or something like that, and it'll go to the original size. But uh, once you've done that and you have this in press save and then it will automatically like exit out press edit mode again to exit the edit mode and just press x and you're done so um, I'm not gonna load up the game because um, it's gonna you know uh, editing I just don't wanna like do that and keep cutting in and out because I just I just don't feel like I'm still getting used to the the new um editing software that I have and I'm still um uh, practicing that stuff but um yeah uh if you go into the game um it, it should be up as eup whatever you have it eup whatever you have the key set as to open eup uh you can go to it has to be i think a certain it doesn't matter but if you go to like accessories i think it says well let me go here yeah no that's wrong that's els um um, plugins, UP, settings. Uh, you can go to settings here and change the toggle what you want. I put it as F10. I just like that way. Characters, you can change whatever you want there. That's nothing. Wardrobe is like custom stuff. But um, I guess I can't show you. So, whatever. Um, you can find your thing will be in there because I loaded it up and I put um, the apparel or other ex extra stuff to put on like a hat and stuff if you guys have EUP then you know what I'm talking about you can go into this thing put glasses a hat masks or like uh, just different stuff like um, a vest like a radio and if you have it and you find your vest there and the vest shows up then um, you'll have it there so um, that's that's it for now this is probably going to be one of the last um, tutorials I'm, I'm doing. I might switch it up when I get to a certain amount of subscribers. But that's not going to be for a while. So I'm going to be doing gaming. But I will do a tutorial like a playlist of modding tutorials. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give this a thumbs up because that would mean everything to me. If you're a viewer, just take three seconds. Just take a second out of your time just to like this video because that means um, I'm doing something good and you guys are appreciating it and I do work hard with these videos and that would mean everything so also don't forget don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel for more content and uh, yeah that's all I have for today and I'll see you in the next video see ya